Hey, it's Lenny Gill with Life is No Yolk. I'm really excited today to show you how to make this special hot chocolate. I don't know if it's hot cocoa or hot chocolate, but this one's special. You make it in your Vitamix, it's raspberry hot chocolate. And, and yes, it's worth the tiny bit of effort. Of course you can make this hot chocolate without a Vitamix, but this is what we do here. So you're gonna take two cups of milk. This is almond milk, one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, four pitted dates. Yeah, it's a lot, but have you ever had hot chocolate? It's sweet. Quarter cup of raspberries, frozen is totally okay. We'll secure the lid and we're gonna blend for a while. I'm gonna use a soup setting and no, there's no heating mechanism, it's just friction. So like when you rub your hands together, you feel that warmth, that's what's happening with the blades. Just friction spinning 2400 RPM. Our machine knows to run the soup setting for seven and a half minutes. If you had the container that it came with, the low profile 64, it would only take five and a half minutes because the blade is bigger. And you are now free to leave the room and do something productive or fun or whatever. If you want to come back and feel the heat, you can just put your hands on the container. It's insulated so it won't burn your hands, but it's kind of cool to feel the, the hot cocoa heating up. Okay, now that you have done something productive, maybe your outdoor gear is put away, boots, your hats, your mittens, or you just like hung on for five minutes, come back, take the lid off slowly and enjoy the steam, and then enjoy some special hot chocolate. Okay, now that we have that hot cocoa out of the way, I did something pretty cool the other day, and it was actually the thing that inspired me to make this hot cocoa video. And here's, here's what it was. You know how when the lakes freeze, it's not really a giant sheet of ice. It, it is, but there's usually a bunch of snow on top. So it's more like a giant tundra than it is a big ice rink. And then when the snow melts, the ice is still there, but it's not safe to walk on. Th this year, the lake froze, but there, was, there wasn't any snow. There was a drought. There have been a couple flurries, but for the most part, it was a giant sheet of ice. And the next morning, I went out before sunrise, ran to the lake with my skates, and just skated the entire lake. The only sounds were the wind and my skates on the ice. Park and Rec board, they make an ice rink. They clear the rink and so you can skate and you can play hockey, but that's just a tiny portion of the lake. This was nothing like that. This was special. It was just so, so cool. Cheers to that little bit of extra effort. Plunge. and special.